Well, US Congress has until Friday to pass a spending plan to avoid a government shutdown. House Republicans are working on a two-part plan, but it's not a long-term solution. Time is running out for Congress to pass a funding bill and avoid a government shutdown. Nobody wants a government shutdown. Lawmakers have until midnight Friday before many government operations will be forced to halt. A plan must first pass the House and then the Senate, but newly elected House Speaker Mike Johnson hasn't even set a date for a possible vote on a spending deal in the House. I'm not exactly sure how he's going to play this, but he's not off to a great start. On Saturday, Speaker Johnson announced a plan on a GOP conference call. It's split into two parts. The first bill would extend funding until January 19th and would include money for military, veterans affairs, transportation, housing and the energy department. The second part of the bill would extend funding until February 2nd and include money for the rest of the government. But it lacks deep spending cuts many right-wing House members pushed for. We got 1.7 trillion de deficit this year and where uh, under any circumstances can they come to bring themselves to have an offset? Neither bill though includes additional aid for Israel <laughs> or Ukraine, something many lawmakers want to see. I want to see that get done as expeditiously as possible. I also support aid to Ukraine. If the government shuts down, millions of federal employees won't get paid. The impact across the country could be significant. Not all services will be continued to be provided. So uh, all of those you know, could have a, a bad ripple effect. 